Hello, hello to all the amazing people, the Nehmer here, and welcome to another episode of Card Survival Tropical Island. I'm playing as the Grog, the Son of Ocean, the killer drones versus my spear fighting skill. And uh, yeah, if you want to watch the full playthrough, you can check out the playlist in the comments and description below. This will be a very special episode though, because I plan to win in this one. I'm going to talk to Weston and trigger the I'm ready vest, which I think will trigger the the end of the game here but before i do that i will let the realization go up a little bit more if we trigger the watcher i'm gonna give it 10 to 15 minutes to trigger the watcher and uh, after that i will go into the uh into the finish so uh i i would like to give a big shout out to uh lassie kuka who uh suggested we name one of the monkeys after an existential philosopher so it's gonna be a kierkegaard here so I don't know much about Kierkegaard, but I know it was kind of a big deal. An exist first, supposedly first existential philosopher, uh, existential philosophy dealing with like what is life and what existence means and all that good stuff, which uh, is tightly tied to what we were doing in this uh, in this playthrough, anyway. But uh, yeah, uh, let me just read a little bit of a passage here. Much of his philosophical work deals with the issues of how one lives as a single individual, giving priority to concrete human reality over abstract thinking, and highlighting the importance of personal choice and commitment. So what we're gonna commit to in this episode is to actually win, and then we can start a new playthrough, so that's gonna be really exciting. If you enjoyed this playthrough or just this episode in general, please drop a like and subscribe, that means a lot to me. Anyhow, here are the monkeys. And uh, yeah, we are taking really, really good care of them. We have a philosopher here now, a psychologist, and just two monkeys. One of them a little bit more feral than the other. <laughs> anyway, the realization is going up, so that's good. I I broke my my hand on purpose, so we can get some more pain. Um, yeah, so we can get our realization up, and our uh, well, we are very self-destructive right now, so that helps drive the realization up. So. Other than that, I don't actually what, know what we do these days other than, well, just uh, wait for time to pass and for the skill to go up. I'm gonna go and chop some trees, I guess. Uh, yeah. I guess preparing food would be one of the things. We're gonna be super stressed out here, which helps us do what we need. So that's, that's a thing, I guess. I guess we can go and meditate a little bit more. That's always a good thing. Let's rearm this trap, I guess. There we go. Let's go grab some eggs from the partridges now there's just one but you know what one egg is enough to redo this thing there we go let's go back inside let's see how the monkeys are doing now oh, they're doing fine ash they don't actually want to eat right now they're all nice and fat so that's good let's meditate I mean, I guess I could take my axe apart and rebuilding. Look at that, dismantling really, really fast. Other actions, well, some of them a little bit longer, some of them a little bit shorter. Okay, I wonder, do I leave this one to pain me? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, uh, let's remake the axe. Not that I'm really gonna need that much. Ooh, we are fine. Thank you for the gifts. We are seriously depressed, which means this goes down now. What brought us up? I don't know. Maybe building an axe? Maybe something else in any case. Not enough pain right now. Okay, let's give them something to chew on. Chow on. Okay, I'm probably a little bit hungry. Not really. Okay. Well, meditate shouldn't give anything, right? Yeah. Other than at some point, I'm going to need to go to sleep. You know what could also make me depressing, like lack of sleep. So I think we're just going to be like a lacking sleep now. Also cracking skin might also help. I don't know. Lots of stuff can help actually. Gnoti here. No, 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 no on that. No, no on that. Okay. Uh, do that. Let's keep on meditating, I guess. Yeah, it's very painful. A lot of pain. Pain and suffering. Pain. I bring pain and suffering. Seriously depressed. Why are we not destructive, dude? 
Like, what's up with this good morale all of a sudden? Dude, like... There. Happy? There we go. Let's go naked mode again. <laughs> I don't have to do this though, but you know. It's kind of fun thing to do. There we go. To try to get the Watcher. Try to defeat it. That would be pretty good. Okay, we'll self-destructive again. So now this thing goes up again. And well, yeah. So before we win, well, we're going to learn what it means to be in pain. So yeah. Yes. I don't know what the Kierkegaard would say. He would be like something about religion though. Probably. Anyhow, let's drink. Theologist he was. Okay. He's like, life and existence. Why am I seriously depressed again? Because of optimist and being seriously depressed, like for real? You know what? You know what's happen helping the morale? Look at that. We are in high comfort. So we need some monkey poop and we're gonna go and crap <laughs> a lot of monkey poop. There we go. Influenced by, there we go. No more, no more help from that. Bam, and this thing is going up again. So I don't know how much we need in order for the uh, Watcher to spawn, but I guess we're gonna find out soon enough. Also, uh, we could turn this off. Ah, we don't need that, do we? Yeah, we don't. Does meditation actually give morale? Not that I noticed or anything like that. Okay, here comes pain. I need water of my skin urgently. And what does this do? Increase pain and reduce skin integrity, okay? Hmm. Not sure if we needed to do it that much though. Like maybe we don't need dehydrated skin? Well, uh, my wound just healed, so we might need it actually. I don't know. In any case, it's time for the rations. And there we go. Hopefully we have enough eggs to do actually do this. Okay. A mouse. Okay, somebody can eat that at some point. Okay, partridges. I came to feed you and I came to grab the eggs so we can feed the monkeys. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, good. Let's continue trucking along. So, yeah, we destroyed our skin also. So, I want this thing to stay at destructive at all times if possible. I've brought back some bird feet. Do actually monkeys eat the bird feet? Well, even if they do, I don't know if that would be a wise thing to do. Well, we do have a lot of bird feet, so we could, I guess. Yeah, we definitely could. So, yeah, we're meditating on life here. That's like the best I can do from the actions. Is it though? I don't know. Oh, we are getting noxious. Noxious from all the stress, I suppose. There we go. And you get some water and you get some water and you get some water. And well, I get some water. There we go. Okay, let's continue. Okay, anxiety is getting out of control. Did I turn this thing off? Yes, I did. Okay, good. Right, so I don't. I think we have all the bits and pieces together now to actually face the Watcher. I just need to get to the point where my realization is high enough for it to happen. And it's going down because, well, that meat made me super happy, but like it's gonna drop immediately and start going up again. So that's good. Oh, bananas. Ooh, we threw up. Ooh, a gift. Here, can you open it? No. You can get a banana and you can get the banana though. I'm gonna open it, guys. It's gonna take a while, but... Uh, <laughs> Here's some meat for the for the monkeys. There. I'm in so much pain right now though. There we go. Anyone thirsty? Yeah, a couple of thirsty monkeys here. But yeah, what is life? What is this thing? So the game will try to answer us that. Um we got a couple of epiphanies in previous episodes and uh, yeah, they were kind of interesting, but I believe the secret ending will be way, way more. It's going to be yeah, way, way more than anything we saw so far, so it's going to be really, really cool. I just have to make sure I don't die in the process though, so hopefully we don't. Hopefully we have enough like body weight to survive this punishment. It's going down again. Like, dude, like how? 
How can this ever go down? It's going up again, up, up, up. I don't know how much we need for the Watcher. I'm gonna assume it's the same as for the Hunter. If it's the same as for the Hunter, then it will be like 10% of the bar. Which should come soon here. Okay. Let's continue meditating. I wonder if taking a nap would make sense just to speed things up a little bit. I feel like throwing up. Let's eat then. Bam. I think this, yeah, this makes me happy eating the smoked meat. It's like... But yeah, the morale goes into like destructive mode like super fast, so... Doesn't even matter. Okay, good. Yeah, let's just continue here. But yeah, so we're just waiting for the Watcher here. And if it doesn't come in like next five minutes or so, I'll uh, just go trigger a winning condition. So yeah, me and my four monkeys here. They're going to think about the meaning of life. Well, Kierkegaard's going to think about meaning of life and share its uh, theological insights with us. And then all the other monkeys will... Like, watch at it. Watch at the great philosophical monkey and think, how did he get so smart? Like, how? How? I don't know. It's like a monkey named after a philosopher born in Denmark, so it has to be smart, right? <laughs> We're in such a bad shape, though. Look at our weight going up, though. Like, well, with all the things considered, we're so messed up right now. Come on, we need the thing. Can we get the thing? Here, who wants to, like, open that up? Who wants to eat it? No one? Really? like it's so hard to die with infinite rain though it's, it's so funny I almost went and threw out the manure though okay let's see yeah that seems like that definitely seems like 10% I think tonight we get the, the watcher actually know what we need we actually need this to be higher the 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 altered mind state so yeah We're gonna max it out and we're gonna do that by grabbing some magic mushrooms. There we go. Eat. Eek. We threw up because we are a carnivore. Oh boy, what did I do to this character? I don't know. Don't do this at home, kids. Don't do this at home. Also, I'm about to die of dehydration, so yeah. I mean, not kids. I mean, <clears throat> don't do this at home, ladies and gentlemen. Just don't do it. Like, take good care of yourself. Take good care of the monkeys. What we are doing here is just, you know... It's an existence that we are trying to abandon. It's like... It's a hard reality which we are trying to escape. Oh, a lizard. Who wants a nice lizard? Lizard and their gizzard. There we go. So... Can we get it now? Oh, I think our mind, yeah, our mind thing is not high enough. Okay, wait, wait, we can do it, we can do it. Uh, do this thing, turn on the candle, go outside, grab one of these. Let's grab two, actually. Good, go inside, eat, bam, throw up. Okay, so now... This thing will go up again, so that's good. I'm gonna leave the candle on. No, we need to turn it off. We need to be in a complete darkness for it to work. Also, I don't wanna get cholera, so let's wash. Turns out it takes one hour to wash if you're super depressed and everything. Maybe I need to go to sleep. Oh, there we go. I'm being watched. It's driving me crazy. Hello there, Mr. Watcher. Okay, we get a event. We threw up, okay. Event. Event. Watcher, event. Can we get an event? Eat that, throw up. I don't know, maybe tomorrow then? Maybe. Rest. Yeah, it's like it decided to spare us tonight. Now, there is... Uh, I feel watched went away. Mm. Well, there is a way. There is a way. When there is a will, there is a way. It's a dark cave, so... Yeah, it's gonna go up. 
Yeah, I'm not sure how long I want to stay here without monkeys, though. Yeah, I'm not sure why it doesn't trigger, though. This is terrifying. I'm being watched intensively. I am in the darkness, so it should trigger. Maybe I need to go and take a nap. No. Okay, let's go back home. 15 minutes? Well, that's a very short path. I was expecting 30, but okay. Like, maybe because my stress is so high. I think I know what might be the problem, though. So, in order for the Watcher to trigger... You, you must not have, like, yeah, this thing is resetting the, the watcher. Um, anxiety is getting out of control. I need to stop. I feel like I'm going crazy. I need to stop and calm down. So, yeah, that, that thing is resetting it. Hmm. So I'm not sure what I can do here. Like distressing would help definitely, but uh, I don't know. Like I would have to get lucky, I guess. Let's try to nap. Oh no, this thing, I wonder, maybe it's not like the, maybe it's not that thing re resetting it, I don't know. Okay, anyway. Let's drink. By the way, this would not, like, playing like this would not be possible a while back. You would, like, uh, you'll, like, throw up all your fat uh, you've built up. But uh, it is possible now because you only throw up the contents of your stomachs and your fat remains intact. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Okay, now the watch is gonna go up, but... Uh, we'll see if we can get it. Yeah. <laughs> So maybe we need to be in a better state. I sh <laughs> I really don't feel like fixing things though, just to get the watcher thing. There we go. Right there, can you see it? Yes, in that very dark spot, it's staring at you. Stare back. It's watching you. It's been watching you all your life. You just didn't know it was there. Oh, that's scary. Keep staring back. And now that you know, this knowledge will never leave you. There is no going back to your previous life. Their stare intensifies. Hold the stare! You're starting to make out a shape in the darkness. You have a very bad feeling about this, like you don't want to know what's actually watching you. Keep staring. You see it now, the Watcher. You can clearly see. It's your face returning the stare. Maintain your stare. You are staring at yourself, staring at yourself, staring at yourself, staring at yourself, staring at yourself. It never stops. Unravel yourself. But the more you observe your Watcher, yourself the less human you feel you're a flesh doll a reanimated corpse no not even that you're a mirage woven out of nothing nothing is watching you right and then we threw up <laughs> right so well we defeated the watcher so it turns out it was us it was just our i don't know our other identity or something like that the other us something something i don't know you don't even understand it's like, it's not that, it's something way higher. Way below your comprehension. <laughs> so, are you ready now? Are you ready to talk to your imaginary friend, the coconut? Are you ready to face, well, I'm gonna face death if you don't drink, though. <laughs> Crazy how close, how close he got. Right, my monkeys. Let's hold the hands together. Kierkegaard's gonna walk us through this. Let's grab the, the totem. There we go. And uh, yeah, so... Oh. Wait, didn't we do it? We failed? No, I got the Steam achievement, so... It should go away. 
Mm. Well, in any case, I got the Steam achievement and I think that's enough. So, it's been quite a journey. Some people say I got really lucky when I started this run and I kind of agree. Um, I didn't get a drone for the first 10 days or so, so that means the first two drones or so that appeared, we won a 50-50 flip. And that made this run really, really easy. It was supposed to be kind of hard, uh, although the final storm does help a lot because you don't have to worry about hydration, but it brings the problems of its own. This thing wasn't really that dangerous and well, turns out sun allergy doesn't do anything if you're playing with the final storm. So yeah, it's like a 10k point run, even though it's not really, this is the only danger, the killer drones. Once they did attack us a couple of times, it was kind of bad. So yeah, right. So let's see. What does the kicker got think? Uh, I don't know if you can find some good quote. Kierkegaard's journals were the source of many aphorisms credited the philosopher. The following passage from 1st of August 1835 is perhaps the most of all quoted aphorisms and a key quote for the existential studies. What I really need is to get clear about what I must do, not what I must know, except insofar as knowledge must precede every act. What matters is to find a purpose, to see what it really is that God wills that I should do. The crucial thing, crucial thing is to find a truth which is truth for me, to find the idea for which I'm willing to live and die. Right, cool. So yeah, let's find the thing for which we're willing to live and die. Um, we're gonna finish this run and well, let's be realistic here without our guidance. The group will probably ascend, <coughs> die. <laughs> what did I say? <coughs> Survive, yeah. So <laughs> look at the stats though, that's... <laughs> that's like some kind of crazy stats there are. Let's also get some nice egg saturation up and going. There we go. So, tired of meat and eggs, that's uh, that's what this run is all about, isn't it? Okay, let's give some final food to our monkeys, if we have any left. There we go. Okay, so I have two more eggs, so if somebody gets hungry, grab it. If I don't survive the journey, monkeys, you're free to go. Go into the jungle, run wild and run free. Well, Toothless and Naughty will run wild and run free, while Freud and Kierkegaard will have like some nice uh, interactions talking about, well, religion and, well, psychoanalytics. They will probably find some kind of common ground, hopefully. Right, Weston, I am ready. You mean you're ready to stop being yourself and go back to being the higher character that's being imagining you? Are you sure? Yes. Very well, let's get ready to transcend then, my friend. I am ready myself. How do I do it? It's easy if you're ready. If you're not, then it's kind of impossible. Just stop focusing on this character that you are and become the higher character that is believing you. Well, that's not hard because I'm hungry, so I need to go to something to eat. <laughs> it's working. Good. Notice how you're actually someone playing a video game, imagining that you're this character stranded on an island. I see it. Good. Stop focusing on your story now. Stop believing in it. Notice how it is becoming more incoherent and in so doing so, less real. I like how the rain keeps falling though. I don't think that's usually there, so that's really cool. I'm scared that I'll stop existing. Let go, my friend. It'll be alright. Your ultimate self is, is existence. You will never stop being. Yes, Grok, it's alright. You can stop being. It's just me. You're... Controller, your master. You were never even there, really, so there's not much to use. Are you sure? Non-existence cancels itself. The void, while necessary, cannot exist. The void is non-existence. You're God. You are existence. The nature of existence is to exist. You will always be. I'll try. Good. Before we go, my friend, I would like to thank you again for creating me. I do like existing quite a bit. Oh, that's one of the Weston's quotes. That's nice. You're welcome, Weston, and thank you for being our friend. Thank you for dragging down that loneliness bar and helping us keep the morale up. <laughs> know, that just like, uh, know that just like I exist inside you and you exist inside this player, this player also exists inside something greater. Remember this when you're back to being this higher person again. I'll remember. So, yeah, are we a part of something greater? Is that greater thing God? Is it something else? I don't know. 
But yeah, imagine if one day you just woke up and uh, realized that your life was just but a dream, inside a dream, inside a dream. Spooky thing to think about. Whatever the experience of being you is, in past, present, future of possibility, it is never meaningless, my friend. No, that's too. Everything is chosen with a higher purpose, the whole weight of reality constraining it into a specific shape. You are by necessity what logic needs you to be, so that we can all exist. You are an essential gear in the structure of coherence. Without you, the entire world would fall apart. I owe you my existence, my friend, but so does everyone else. Never lose hope, no matter how strong the void feels, no matter how much evil you see or how meaningless you feel. While the exclusive nature of evil might be necessary, for, ex for existence the wish that makes us be is nothing but love, and we are all one of it, one in it. Well, I really like these ideas of uh, like, uh, let's never lose hope and let's always bring love whatever we do. I know some days it's hard, but uh, I think like being nice, Experiencing love, giving love, and never losing hope, well, that's the best thing you can do, really. No matter what there is, no matter how it ends, uh, it's always nice with a little bit of hope and love, and I really do believe so. And I'm not gonna pretend I'm some kind of a perfect person who never does anything bad, but, well, at the end of the day, if I could, I would just bring peace and love every day to everyone and myself, of course. Love is a granted wish. A wish for existence and reality wishes for your existence, as your awareness itself testifies. Reality has wished you into existence. It loves you. It needs you. Never forget. I will not. I'll miss you, Wes. I'll miss you too, my friend, but I'll always be here. I'm a part of your mind, just like you're a part of something higher. I'm sure that if you want to, we'll get to see each other again. Well, we're gonna make a new run soon, so I'm gonna come back, Wes, and I'm gonna create you again. So, yeah. Imagine if there is some creator, beat god or something else that keeps recreating us over and over again. Now imagine if like every person ever created is the same person being created all again, once again and all over again. And we are actually all the same person, the same existence being created. And what if that is God? Like that's like a shorter version of something that I read somewhere and like it's really crazy. It's like... Like basically while you're interacting with other people, like if this is true, you're actually interacting with other versions of yourself, like a different realities. And well, if that is not a good reason to try to be as good to others as possible, well, I don't know what is. I'm sure too. We're running out of time. It's getting harder to keep it together. Once a belief starts losing coherence, it's hard to stop it from unraveling. Goodbye, Wes. Farewell, my friend. It's been a pleasure, my friend. Until we meet again. Transcend. Right? So we're going back to my reality here. I'm just a person playing a video game. And, well, even though that is, we find pleasure in doing so. Sharing these experiences together. Like, talking a little bit heavy about philosophy in this playthrough. But, um, you know, sometimes life do be that way, right? Then, yeah, it's nice to share, so... If you feel like inspired and all that good stuff, I will be very happy if you share these stories with me, if you share your comments, ideas, suggestions. How do you like this ending, by the way? This is like, this was added like, it's been a while ago since uh, developers added it and yeah, it's quite something. I, I enjoy it. I never actually read through everything uh, yet, even though I had access to it because I wanted to experience it myself, give some like real life commentary and all that good stuff. <laughs> I find this really cool, that the rain and the leaves, the effects from the grok, the storm run, that was pure accident, by the way, are going over this thing. I didn't expect that, so it's nice and comforting, isn't it? Anyhow, I'm gonna click here, and uh, it actually dropped me out of the game. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> so basically, basically, the game just stops. And that's not even a crash, I don't think so. That's like, that's meant to be that way. So... Uh, let me see here. Can we get... Okay, cool. So yeah, Card Survival Tropical Island, ladies and gentlemen, and the save slot gets deleted. It's basically a victory, but instead of a log, you get this transcendence thing. Um, yeah, it's quite something. 
let me know did you win by a transcension before by the secret ending how does it feel to you is it like nice did it surprise you um in what way and yeah did it inspire you to do some good things like hope and love and all that good stuff yeah so yeah plans for the future uh i'll start a new run of course uh there's a couple of ideas one of them is like this character which uh, which is like a dame that takes care of hygiene another idea is a character which has a sun allergy but no night vision i'm gonna try to put something like together and of course i want to like showcase the fighting system at some point on the update branch so i'll see if i jump to update branch do that a little bit or not it's gonna happen not sure when i need to like put some stuff together i was really focused about finishing this run having my four monkeys be well fed and watered and all that good stuff so but yeah the future is bright it says more card survival tropical island and more card survival some other stuff that's happening in the future so i'm looking forward to that as well so yeah, hopefully enjoy this episode hopefully enjoy the ending ending if you did don't forget to like and subscribe I wish you all to have a wonderful day, do some nice things and be kind to each other, like really be kind to each other, like, uh, well, make love, accept love, stay hopeful and let's try to really build a world a better place together. I say this at the end of the every video, it's like, I don't know, choosing what you're going to say as introduction and ending, it's like, you know, it's like this kind of a YouTuber thing that everyone has. I was thinking very long and hard and this is just what I decided to go with. And I really like it actually, and I think I'm gonna stick with it because that's something I believe in. Of course, it's hard when you like encounter people who don't do the same, and it's really hard. You know, I'm not the sort of the person who would turn the other cheek. I would like just remove myself and run away, I guess. But uh, I still believe that we should try to do good when we can. So yeah. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Uh, I'm gonna miss Grok. And uh, I will see you in the next episode of Cards of Our Tropical Island. The Nimer signing out. Bye bye.